Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you how to back up your old iPhone and move it on to a new iPhone. This is an iPhone 5, and we're going to take the information here, just as it is, and move it on to this new iPhone 6S. So this is brand new. The only thing I've done is move my SIM card from this phone over to this phone. So let's pull this phone out. Now there are a couple ways to back up. One of those ways is to actually use iTunes. And when you use iTunes, you simply plug your phone in, go into iTunes, and go and do a backup. That will pull everything off of it and all of your data and text messages and everything and save it. And then you can restore it to the iPhone. But the way I actually restore is using iCloud and I find it to be, for me at least, a little bit easier and better. On the old iPhone, what you need to do is first make sure everything's backed up. Now this is actually an older version and the only stipulation here is that the operating system version on the old phone is older than the newer one. So in this case, we actually have iOS 8.1.4, I believe, on this phone and iOS 9 on this phone or a version of that. So what you need to do is just make sure this is running the same or older than the new one. So then go into your settings app. And once you're in settings, what you need to do is go down until you find iCloud. Once you go into iCloud, it will show you your different information here. If you're not signed into it, you just need to sign in with your iCloud ID or create a new iCloud ID and you can sign in. Now, this is what actually is going to be backed up. So if you have all of these things turned on, moved over, you can see Passbook is not on, so it's not going to back that up. But all of these things, iCloud Drive is your files from your different applications, photos, mail, photos includes videos as well, mail, contacts, calendars, reminders, Safari, that means like bookmarks, things like that, notes, and find my iPhone. That really doesn't apply here other than defining your iPhone. So what you have turned on here will help you back up. Now, one more thing as far as the photos go is you want to have iCloud Photo on or iCloud photos here. We go into the photos setting and make sure iCloud photo library is on. If you have that on there, it will back up every single thing. If you don't, you may not get everything and that's really due to the limitations of storage. And if you are out of storage, it may not back everything up. So you want to make sure you have enough storage for this. And they've recently decreased the price of storage and increased the amounts. So it's, it's pretty reasonable. So we'll go back into iCloud back in our iCloud settings, we want to make sure all these things are on. Then we scroll down and we go to backup. Now in backup, we have iCloud backup on and you need to make sure that's on or it won't back up. Once that's on, it will actually show you your last backup. And in this case, it's 10, 13 PM. It was last backed up about 11 minutes ago. If it's not backed up, just hit backup now. And as long as you're on Wi-Fi, it will back up. So that's really all we need to do once this is completed and it will give you a little status bar here, but once it's completed, we can then move to our new iPhone. So let's do that now. Here's the iPhone 6S. So let's turn it on, hold down the button here. We'll boot it up. We'll take the plastic wrapper off it and we'll wait for it to boot up. Now, one thing you may want to do is connect your old iPhone to your computer and dump off all the photos using either the photos app on a Mac, or you can move it off using your favorite photo program and the file browser on a windows device. So the first thing we need to do is set up the new iPhone. So slide to set it up, select your language, select your region or country, and then choose a network. You can also scroll down and use your cellular connection, but let's use your, our network here. Hit join and wait a moment. It'll actually join the, the Wi-Fi network. Give it just a moment. And then it says it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And these are some things you'll have to think about, but I use location services for applications like Maps. Touch ID, we can set that up now or later. Just for this video, I'll set it up later. It wants me to create a passcode. I'm going to do that. The passcode has been created and now we have the options that we need to select. So there's a few different ones here. Restore from iCloud backup. If you backed up to iTunes, like I mentioned before, you can restore to or restore from an iTunes backup. You can set it up as a new phone. So if this is your first iPhone, well, you're probably not watching this video, but if this is your first iPhone, you can set it up as new. 
or you can move your data from Android using their app on the Android store and that will move quite a bit of data. So we're going to restore from an iCloud backup. And here what you're going to do is enter the same username and password that you had in your settings over here for iCloud. After you've put that in, go ahead and hit next. And it says before restoring to ensure all of your apps and their associated data are correctly moved to your new device when restoring from an iCloud backup, make sure that the device made the back that made the backup backup had all available app updates from the app store and then completed a fresh backup. So just make sure everything's updated on this phone as well. Hit continue. Now you're going to have to agree to the terms and conditions to continue. So you want to do that. Hit agree, hit agree. And what, what it's going to do now is actually look at, iCloud and look at all the backups and I'll show you that in a moment when it pops up. So right here we have a couple different options. So we have iPhone 2, it says an iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 6. These are all different backups from iPads and things like that. We know that we made it at 1002 and it says an iPhone 5 right there. So we know that's the backup. So if we tap on this one, it will restore everything here over to here. It's going to make us enter the ID again. Once you've entered all passwords that it's asked for, just simply hit next. And then it's going to go into this restoring from iCloud or restore from iCloud dialogue. This can take some time. That really depends on what you have on your other iPhone. So if you have a 64 gigabyte iPhone six, you're restoring from, it's going to take longer than if you had eight gigabytes of used space. So maybe you've used the entire 64 gigs on the old phone. I've heard of it taking up to a day and in some cases to do the full restore. So what it's going to do is restore here. Then it's going to actually reboot the phone and restore the apps afterwards. So it kind of moves this along pretty quickly. So I'll let this run and then we'll come back when it's done. The phone actually went through the restore and took about six or seven minutes for that line to complete and then it rebooted. So now we're at the reboot and it says hello. So we'll slide to setup. We'll put in the passcode we created. Now it says update completed. Your iPhone was successfully or updated successfully. There are just a few more steps to follow and then you're done. So we'll hit continue. We'll put in the iCloud password again. Once the iCloud password has been put in, it goes to this screen where it says updating iCloud settings. Now it's going to ask us to set up Apple pay. I'm not going to do that now, but if you want to do that, you can simply hit next and start setting up Apple Pay using a, a credit card if it's supported. And it's going to ask me if I want to use iCloud Keychain, and this actually can store your passwords. Uh, I'll skip that for now, I can do it later. We can also set up Siri, I'll do that later, just for the sake of this video, but you can do all of this set up here. And then it's asking us if we want to send diagnostic information to Apple, so if something crashes, Sure, we can do that. Same with developers. It's all set anonymously, so no big deal there. And then we have two different views, standard or zoom. I like standard, but you can zoom in if you want a little bit bigger icons. We'll hit next here. And it says, welcome to iPhone. So we'll hit get started. Now you can see it looks identical as far as the app layout, with the exception of one thing, since this is actually a newer version of iOS, it comes with the news app. And that will be on every version of iOS right now. It's included, so everything's going to be here. Now a lot of people have asked me in previous videos what actually restores. So I thought I'd let you know right now, basically what restores is all of your messages, all of your calendar information, all of your email, different content there. Most of your passwords restore. If they don't, it will prompt you for that password. All of your apps restore along with all their data. So you can see it's installing some apps here. There's also some apps here. These all pre-installed. I didn't tell it to install, but with any new iPhone, it actually pre-installs some of these apps. So not a big deal. If you want to delete them, you can. Aside from that, they also restore all of your photos and your videos. And then the major question I get the most is, does it restore your music? Yes and no. So if you're using Apple Music, all of your music will be there, especially if you bought your music on Apple. You can just simply go into the music store and download it again for free. Now, if you didn't buy your music and maybe it's on a computer, you'll have to resync that to the iPhone to install that. So maybe you have music you, you bought on Amazon or something, but you wanted it on the iPhone. You can either get that through the Amazon app or you could use that through iTunes and dump it into your music. It's all how you want to do it. But if you don't have music that you bought through Apple, you want to actually just get it through iTunes on your computer and you can just dump it over through syncing or drag and drop, depending on how you want to do that.
Now this says restore incomplete. Some items cannot be downloaded. This actually happens a lot. I've noticed it will continue to download and you can see here it's installing. Let me turn the brightness up a little bit on this display. It's installing apps. It will continue to install all the apps that we had on this phone. And when it's done, it will look identical with the exception of the additional apps that it added. The other questions I've been asked before have to do with device to device. So maybe you have an iPad, you can't restore from an iPad to an iPhone or from an iPhone to an iPad or iPod. They're all only compatible within their own family. So iPhone to iPhone, iPad to iPad, and also iPod to iPod. So unfortunately you can't go between the devices. Now the last question I wanted to answer for you before we check this out after they've all restored is what if I didn't set this up when I set up the phone initially, how do I get all of this back over here? Well, the only way to do that right now is to actually reset everything and start over from the beginning. So maybe you've got a phone that you need to restore from here to here and it's saying the version isn't new enough. What you'll need to do is go on this phone, set it up, install the update. Then unfortunately you have to go back and wipe it under settings. If you go to settings, go to general, scroll down to the bottom and go to reset. You have to actually go to the beginning by erasing all content and settings. Once it erases reboots, you'll actually be able to restore just how I showed you before. So it's a little bit complex. If that's the case, if you're on a phone and you want to move stuff from your old phone, you can't do a, a, some text messages from one phone to the other. It just doesn't work that way. So hopefully I answered all of your questions as far as that goes, but let's take a look at this once it's fully restored. Everything is fully restored and all apps are installed. So as you can see here, it's a little bit different in that the music apps look different and we've got news and newsstand. And that's only because we've got an older version of iOS on the old phone and a newer version on the new one. And if you haven't updated to iOS nine, uh, you wouldn't have these yet. It's just a change with those different updates. So now all of your messages should be back, everything like that. If we scroll over, you can see all of the apps and all the folders are in the same arrangement and everything. The only exception would be in the business apps here. Uh, I have an old app that hasn't been updated in a long time and I don't think it's available on iOS nine. So that's why it's not installed, but otherwise everything else will be installed and moved over. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully I answered all your questions, but if not ask a question in the comments and I'll try and answer it. I try and answer every question I can regarding backups and everything else. So let me know there. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.